Welcome back to this Zoom tutorial series for teachers. Today I'm going to show you an extra security measure you can take when setting up your Zoom classrooms. One of the best ways to monitor who enters your Zoom classrooms is by setting up a virtual waiting room. This will allow you to control who enters your Zoom meetings. So only the people that you approve can enter your meetings. Now we're gonna jump on my computer and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now the first step to setting up a virtual waiting room is going to occur when you are creating the meeting. So you can see right now I'm in meetings and I have chosen to create a new meeting and I've showed you how to set up everything in an earlier video. But if you scroll down to the bottom here, under meeting options, you're gonna see the option that says enable waiting room. And as of recently, due to Zoom bombing, Zoom is automatically marking this, so it should be automatically checked for you, but if it's not, go ahead and check it, and then when you're ready, click save, and then that will make it so that your waiting room is set up when you go to actually schedule your meeting. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually approve people inside of the meeting. All right guys, so I am in my Zoom meeting right now, and right now I wanna start approving participants as they enter the waiting room. So there's a couple ways that you can do that. You'll see that I've got a pop-up here that tells me Ben has entered the waiting room. So I can either click admit straight away, or I can click see the waiting room, and I can click on people's names and admit them this way. And so now Ben is part of our meeting. And as more students enter, you're gonna see their names popping up here. And then once again, you can choose whether to admit them. And if you don't want to admit them, you can just leave them in the waiting room. And you can, well, the other thing I wanted to show you is you can also put them back in the waiting room. So if you approved somebody and then decide that you don't actually want them to be there, you can put them back in the waiting room. So Ben is no longer in this meeting and I would have to admit him to let him back in. Now with this trend in Zoom bombing, I do recommend that you add in this additional feature of setting up a virtual waiting room for your classrooms because this is gonna help protect you and your students. And if you have any other questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment below. Then make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because I don't want you to miss any of my Zoom tutorials or distance learning videos that I have coming out soon.